Hey y'all, this is Cheryl and thanks for joining me for another digital scrapbooking process video. I'm going to be using some products by Pink Reptile Designs at the Lily Pad and I'll be combining them with a template I created during um, the slow scrap that was held um, last night on August 23rd. So what I do is during um, the chat time while we're chatting and the instructions are being given out um, I just kind of take those instructions and um, you know place some template pieces across my layout just so I don't have to keep looking back and forth between the instructions and um, what I'm working on so that makes it really easy uh, you can go look in the forum and you can see the instructions for this speed scrap uh, but essentially um, we started out with just a large focal photo that's about a third of the way down on the right side of the page and then some decreasing sizes of circles from that point um, that are just kind of pinging off the left side and then down to the bottom. So you can see here that um, I added some pencil um, sketched pencil around the circles and I used the same one I just kind of rotated it and um, moved it um, you know from uh, circle to circle just kind of rotating it around so it had a, a different look to it and now I'm just going through and um, placing some elements in now I, um, when I first looked at this set of papers and elements um, I decided that I had to use the heart paper. It was just too adorable. And I am not one who is scared to use uh, anything pink or girly, uh, flowers, whatever, um, in a layout using a picture, you know, of a boy. I don't have a problem with that. First of all, it's my my scrapbook and I want it to look pretty I want it to be something for me to look at but this particular photo of my son was taken right before he graduated from uh, fifth grade and so he's dressed up but I liked the word art um, about dreams and how you know he's starting middle school and um, so you know things that he's thinking about um, are gonna you know start coming true in the next couple of years so as he goes into high school and um, he can kind of decide where he wants to go in his life from there but uh, so this is just kind of a, you know an encouragement for him to you know keep dreaming his dreams and um, I ended up branching away from the if only papers and elements and I used a few pieces from a couple of other um, pink reptile element sets as well as a collab that she had with just Jamie and uh, I really liked uh, the uh, more dimension that I got from adding some additional pieces Um, I also like to having that very colorful background, colorful elements, and then the photos black and white and the two circles are um, very neutral, black and white or gray and white. So here I am, I'm just finishing up the last few elements. I will do my journaling and custom shadows off camera. And that's going to be it for this slow scrap. It's great to do these when you need some inspiration. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and consider being a subscriber. I'd love to have you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.